Hi guys, Erin here for another book review. Today I'm going to be doing A Court of Wings and Ruin, part one of I don't know how many parts yet, but um, I did part one, The Princess of Carrion. Spoilers ahead, so if you don't want spoilers, turn the TV or whatever off now. Um, I wrote some notes down, so let's get started. My favorite characters were obviously Feyre, because she proved her own strength again to have sacrificed herself to save her family, which is Reese, Amryn, Moore, Cassian, Asriel, Nesta, and Elaine. And um, Nesta and Elaine have already turned into fairies, and that was by the magic of the cauldron, cauldron in the last book, so I thought that was pretty cool, but like really sad too. Because what about their mortal father? What is going to happen if he dies? I mean, that's going to be so sad. And also, Feyre went back to the Spring Court, which is something I would never do, so I have to give her a few points for that. Um, my least favorite characters are Tamlin, for obvious reasons, Eonthe, because she sold out Feyre's sisters to the King of Highburn and to Durian, and I hated Branagh and Bagdan because they're as creepy as Cersei and Jaime Lannister. And if they have activities like Cersei and Jaime, I don't want to know about it. Um, my favorite parts? There are two of them that I have wrote, written about. Um, uh, my favorite part was when Feyre played mind tricks on Eonthe using the power of the sun during the festival. Forgive me because I forget its name already, but I was like blazing through the book because I loved it so much. Um, I also liked the part when Feyre got into Eonthe's head and made the priestess break her own hand using a stone after she tried to play with Lucian. And... Does everyone like this scene, or am I simply a bloodthirsty little mortal? And my least favorite part was when Feyre saved Lucian from Eonthe, because I just thought, the guy isn't worth it. I mean, he betrayed you to Tamlin in the first book, and in the second book too, so how could you think to yourself, hey, I'll save this person because he's worthy of my friendship or whatever so I didn't like that part um but that's just me so if you feel differently that's fine if you feel the same way that I do that's fine too so whatever um a quote I like is I'm not going to mention the page number in case anybody's trying to use this as a book report project or whatever but anyway a quote I liked is a mask over her face was of decay that's what it was like to go inside that beautiful head and find such hideous thoughts inside of it. The part one was pretty short, so I'm just doing the segments and parts, like part one, part two, part three. But anyway, that was my book review for part one, The Princess of Carrion. So I would already give this book five stars because one, it's fantasy, two, it's Sarah J. Mass, three, it's marvelously written, and four, it's the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I mean, how can anybody not like that series, right? Anyway, have a great day, people. Like, comment, subscribe, do your thing.